You know what? I remember my first haircut. It was a mohawk. And one of my friends, we were watching skateboard videos. I told up the mohawk. But what I really loved is that I saw effect right away. And when I was finally kicked out of high school, I turned the hobby into my profession, I guess. Bertus, AKA the Bloody Butcher, hails from the Netherlands where he founded his iconic barbershop, Schoen. Forged from punk rock, art, and skateboarding, the pomade Bertus and his co-founder Lane created over eight years ago has gone on to become one of the top men's hair care brands in the world. We met up with the Bloody Butcher in Denver, Colorado. There he is. How you doing, man? What's up? Good to see you. Good to see you. This book is so great, man. It just really captures so many elements that really came together to develop Shkorum, man. This one, man. Lane and me look like we are planning to rob a bank. Back then, I was living in a squat. I had a skateboard ramp on the, on the third floor, and I built a barber shop on the second floor where, you know, it was kind of a speakeasy. You had to know my name and number. And then Lane was like, you know what? If we could catch this vibe and build a shop around it, people are gonna talk about it. So the atmosphere was unbelievable, you know? It was a theater show. We really loved all these cool products and they were impossible to get in the Netherlands. So I started cooking up Roosel in the kitchen of Scorum. I, I made some horrible pomade, but I liked the idea that I cooked the first can of Roosel. You know, I almost burned the shop down at a certain point. At Floyd's, we were actually the first customer in the US to carry Roosel. And we're really proud of that. You can tell a story with your jacket, but when you're naked, it's your the tattoos and your hair. It's all out there on the streets, man. Kids without money will do the best, you know? They will make the best clothing, they will, and, and they cut their own hair. So that's where I find inspiration. But also in art, comic books. I'm not doing haircuts, I'm creating the characters. I'm like, could you play in a series? And who would you be? You never know what's gonna spark your imagination. Yeah, you own a barbershop, you do haircuts. No, I create the memories, man. That is, that is really what I think a barbershop is. In a world that is changing faster than ever, I think it's really important to have places that stay the same. And that is what Schornum is for us, you know? It's never, never gonna change. Our lives has changed, but the shop not. And I think that's what people are looking for.